we cater to our hummingbirds and we started with one it went to dozens and before we knew it we have it looks like thousands around here and i make a lot of different bird baths for them because they sure appreciate water but i have noticed that their favorite bird bath is the ones that are shaped like a bowl so many of them come to that all day so i decided i was going to make a bird bath for hummingbirds shaped like a ball. So I had a child's ball, a kid's ball, and it was a rubber ball and nice and firm, firm enough to hold concrete. So I put the ball into a bowl and the bowl will support it as I fill it with concrete. Now I also put a couple inches of sand in there. The sand will hold the ball and you'll see later when I put a stick in there, the stick will go into the sand and it will all be well supported until the cement gets hard. So once I got it right, I knew the next step for me to do would be to make two holes. I would make, make one hole to put the concrete in and the other hole to put in some sort of stick so I could put the tubing through. Now you can put the tubing through instead of a stick. I use papaya leaves, a papaya branch. I don't know why it works for me, but you know what? I have also built other cement fountains and I have actually just put the pipe in, the actual pipe I'm going to use for the pump. So either way will work. That will work for you too. So I cut the ball. Once I figured out exactly where I wanted the holes, I cut, I cut a large hole, as you can see here. And then I figured out when this, where the center was on the other side. And that's where I cut a small hole. We so love our hummingbirds. Well, I, I love trying to make anything that they'll use. And this is just so much fun. They're such a pleasure to have around here. So I cut the other side, a small hole, and this would hold my stick in place. So once the cement was cured, I could pull it out and be able to slide in my tubing. So now I put the ball back into the bowl and now it was time to start to fill the ball. Now I use regular concrete already pre-mixed. You can use anything you want. Here is the papaya uh, branch that I use. It just It's the same size as, as the tubing and it works perfect so I just use that. And they slip out easily too out of concrete. You can use Portland cement and make a mix out of it. They'll help you at the hardware store exactly what you need, you know, putting in the sand. I've used both. Either one works. You can use a quick set. You could use a regular concrete. Don't look at that. That's a hummingbird statue I'm making out of concrete. That's a different project. So you could use any type of concrete you want. Either one will work. The quick set you can use right away in water. And you know what? I've been using regular concrete and it's pretty dry in a matter of days and you can set them up fairly quick. So you use whatever will work for you. Now it's a matter of mixing up the concrete. Now you want it kind of like a brownie mix. You don't want it real watery. You want it a little bit thicker, but not as thick as a cookie dough. I'm not sure how to explain it, but that's the best way I could say it. So you want it kind of in between a cake mix and a cookie dough. How about that? And that's about it. You'll see how it is here. If you made it a little too thin or a little too thick, it probably would be perfectly fine. Because to be honest, I don't measure. I just stir it up until it's really well mixed. And when it looks good enough for me to use, I use it and I haven't had a problem with any of them yet. So I put the ball back into the bowl, as you can see, with now my stick in there. Again, you can use any type of stick you want. If you use wood, coat it with oil. Uh, if you use plastic, pla any type of plastic will slide out. And if you use the tubing, the tubing will slide in and out too. So you can use the tubing. You can get the tubing at any tropical fish store and some hardware stores that will fit your solar fountain pump. Now I use tool. I use tool in my garden and I also use tool in my cement work. It acts like a rebar to me. It kind of gives that little extra umph support to the cement. So I cut up some tool and this way as I'm putting the cement in, I can push the tool in. I've also used screen, like from old screen windows. That works well too. It's just my thing. You don't have to, but it's something I like to do. So here I was putting in the cement and I put the cement in, you know, a 
tried to pack it in the best I could. And periodically I'll stop and I'll push in some tool. And I keep that more in the center. I don't want it on the outside showing on the bowl, but it really won't because the cement soaks into it. So I continue to put the cement in, kind of push it in because there's really no way to vibrate that the way I've got it. So you want to have it packed down as best as you can. And you do want to work with any type of concrete or cement fairly quick because it will start to cure. So you'll want to make sure you get it done like less than an hour. Get it done really, really quick. The quicker, the better. And as I built it up, I would just push in a little more tool here and there. And that might hold, in my opinion, a little bit of the concrete in case it's not packed as well. At least it will have a little bit of something inside like a rebar, like they put rebar into cement work. So I packed it in and I periodically took the spoon and kind of, I used the spoon, just a plain teaspoon and kind of pushed it in to make sure there were no air bubbles. I'm trying to keep as many air bubbles out as possible. Tap it a little bit up and down and get that really packed well. Make sure that stick goes through. Now it goes through the hole and into the sand. And that's the way I push in the center stick. And then just sit it aside for 24 hours. Don't wait too much longer. Now after 24 hours, it was nice and firm. Now it's not ready to be put in water or anything. I like getting it out of my molds in 24 hours because sometimes it can get harder to get out. And if you're forcing it out, you could end up cracking it. Now the rubber ball, I took an X-Acto knife, like a um, box cutter, and I took the razor blade and I gently pulled on the rubber and cut the rubber away from the cement. I didn't want to make a line in the cement. Now I could have torn it off, but I'm hoping to reuse this mold uh, a few more times. Even though it's cut, I'm going to duct tape it back when I use it next time. And I'll see how many times I can use it before it's totally bad. But I cut it away and then it just popped open. And yes, I'm going to tell you, I was excited to see my first cement ball. I've made a lot of cement things, but this is my first ball. And I think it came out really cool. There were some lines from the ball and that's perfect because it gives a place for the hummingbirds to grip. Now it's just a matter of letting it dry for a few days and then setting it up and see how it works. I got this stick out. As you saw, the it slides pretty quick out and easy. That's from my papaya. But anything else, if you have a wooden dowel in there, get it out. And that's it. Now I decided I was going to set this up with a plate and a bucket. So I use a soldering iron and I make holes. The center hole is for the tubing. So you have to make it big enough for your tubing to go through and then make as many holes as you can because the more holes, the better because I'm gonna sit that on top of the bucket and you don't want your water to run out. You want it to go back in the bucket. So like I said, a lot of holes is better. Now you attach your tubing to the pump. You drop the pump inside the bucket. You can make a notch with your soldering iron for your cord so the plate will lay flat and you string it through the ball and that's it. Oh, now all I needed was water and as you saw, I was excited. I'm back with water. Oh my goodness. The hummingbirds are going to love this. This is going to be amazing. I keep covering this. Look at that. And when I put it out, this was no joke. Within minutes, there were hummingbirds all over it. I decided to put it on my deck and they were coming and they were almost fighting over it. They were bathing. They absolutely love the ball. They can grip it. They can sit on it. It's an easy place for them to take a bath and they have full control of the water and they can hang and let the water run on them, kind of like a shower. And that's what they prefer. And that's what they love. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you some ideas on how to make a beautiful hummingbird bath for your hummingbirds. Bye bye and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye bye everybody. And check out my other videos on bird baths that I make.